Greetings and welcome to our latest tutorial. In this video, we'll be delving into the cart pop-up feature of iCart. Take a look at the distinctive two-folded layout, featuring a left area and a right area. Let's kick things off by exploring the general settings. Here, you have the option to choose the cart style, whether it's the cart drawer or the cart pop-up. You'll find three choices available, one for mobile, one for desktop, and a set of common settings applicable to both mobile and desktop. This option is to show or hide cart bubble. Here you can select the position of cart bubble and this color picker allows you to change the background color of the bubble. In this section, you can add the text that will be displayed when the cart pop-up is in collapsed state with no item in the cart. Similarly, here you can add the text that will be displayed when the cart pop-up is in collapsed state with item added in the cart, but the text will be only visible when the progress bar is disabled or deleted. Next is common setting, in which the first option is header text. These three color picker allow you to change the color for the respective sections. This slider allows you to adjust the size of the cart header text. Coming to general settings, these two options allows you to change the background color for left and right area. Please note that while you have switched from cart drawer to cart pop-up, then the set color of cart drawer will be applied on left area of cart pop-up. If you want to make the cart corner curve, then check this box. This option is to change the style of buttons. Here, you can change or delete the cart icon. Below it, you have the option to change the bubble icon color. If you want to show the cart item count in the bubble, then check this box. These two options are to change the count bubble and item count text color. Custom CSS is for developer use only. Next is widgets. In this section, you will see two sides left and right area. Each add widget option allows you to add more widget to the specific area. Later you can drag drop them to left or right area. In left area, progress bar, card items and checkout will be displayed by default which cannot be moved to the right area. If there is more than one checkout widget then you can drag one checkout to the right area. Now in right area, you can add any of these widgets as per your choice. Once all changes are done, you can preview them. We hope this video helped you. Thank you for watching this video and subscribe our channel for upcoming video notifications.